and welcome back to Gengo no Tabi. This is the third video in the conversational Japanese series. In the first episode, I explained how we were going to be covering phrases and techniques required to initiate and carry on a conversation with a Japanese speaker. In the first episode, we initiated a conversation. In the second episode, we studied in depth how to ask and discuss where the person is from in Japan. So, what's inevitable at this point? If not sooner. Yes, we're going to be at the end of a stream of Japanese that we don't understand. So what do we do then? Do we run back to our books, excuse ourselves, and go back to studying? No, it's time for some techniques. The first technique is obvious. It's used in a situation where you understood most of what they said, but you might have missed one word, like the noun or the verb. I don't know what that word means. その言葉の意味がわかりません。その言葉の意味がわかりません。その言葉の意味がわかりません。The next technique is going to be invaluable. You will need this so often when speaking to a Japanese person. Excuse me, could you speak a little more slowly? Sumimasan, Moskoshi, Yukuri, Hanashite Moraimaska. Sumimasan, Moskoshi, Yukuri, Hanashite Moraimaska. Sumimasan, もう少しゆっくり話してもらえますか This next technique is going to be a powerful aid to you when you're conversing in your new language. You might have discovered already that a lot of times if you're like me, when you start speaking to somebody, a lot of your vocabulary suddenly slips out of your head. So this technique is for when you can think of the antonym of the word you're trying to say. For example, you want to say ureshi, but you can only think of kanashi. What is the opposite of that word? その言葉の反対語は何ですかその言葉の反対語は何ですかその言葉の反対語は何ですかその言葉の反対語は何ですか all right, that is all for this lesson. You might wonder why I'm calling these phrases techniques because these are tools to keep you in the game when the communication is broken down. You didn't understand what they just said, but you want to stay in the game. You want to keep conversing if you can, so you might learn something. And so when you walk away, you feel like you communicated and that all that hard study is paid off. So these are tools to get you back in the game so you can possibly understand what they said or keep them speaking to you in Japanese. If you don't thoroughly understand these phrases so they just roll off your tongue without thinking about it, start over the video, learn these, these are essential. And stay tuned, Kenta and Ryan Sensei and I will be back soon with more phrases and more techniques.